As you may know, uh, critical ill patients, patients in the ICU, are the most vulnerable patients in the healthcare system. The frequency of adverse events in the ICUs is very high. Several studies have reported that between 15 and 50% of critical ill patients are going to suffer an adverse event during the ICU stay. So our commitment is to reduce this rate and to achieve an ICU with zero risk for adverse events. The most common adverse events we can monitor in the ICU are medication errors and also infections related with invasive devices. So if we want to monitor safety in the ICU, we can monitor three types of measures. The first one could be to monitor the outcome of patients. Of course, mortality or adjusted mortality is a very, very important outcome and to have a high adjusted mortality is saying that probably our patients are suffering from adverse events. This is very basic, but there are other outcome measures, like for example, the rate of infection associated to invasive devices, the rate of catheter-related bloodstream infections, the rate of ventilator-associated pneumonia, the rate of urinary tract infection associated to uh, urinary catheters, those outcome measures are, uh, need to be monitored in the ICU and um, are translating, which is the safety in the ICU. Also, we can measure the process of care. We have international guidelines, we have local protocols, so we have different recommendations we need to follow because they are evidence-based recommendations. That means that most of the patients, most of them, should receive these recommendations. And we need to monitor how often our patients receive the recommendation we have in our local protocols or in the international guidelines. So a high rate of compliance means that this ICU is safe, and probably this will be translated in outcome measures. Low level of compliance is saying that this ICU probably is an unsafe ICU, and this probably will be translated in a worst outcome in our patient. And the third measure I'm going to discuss is about the culture of safety. That means how often we learn from the adverse events. That means that we have to report the adverse events, we have to analyze the adverse events, we have to learn and design improvement plans based in what we have learned from these adverse events. And we have to teach, we have to transmit those lessons to the rest of the team. So if we are able to construct this uh, type of a structure in an ICU where we are able to measure the outcomes, we are able to measure the process of care, we are able to measure the safety, and we improve all these areas, probably we will see that our rates of adverse events will be reduced and the outcome of our patients will improve in the future.